inside of our studio what we're going to do is we're going to actually create using the use this package a skeletal package that we can sort of fill with the contents that we need to actually uh, put together um, for either our method or analysis so let's start by going use this colon colon create underscore package parentheses and inside quotations we're going to type out the package name here I'm going to call this package hot chicken and we'll press enter once that happens you'll notice that a window will automatically pop up in a new RStudio session but if we go back to the old session which is slightly behind you'll notice that use this sort of told us exactly what was happening. In particular, it created the hot chicken directory. It changed the directory that we were currently in to the hot chicken directory and functionally started adding um, the underlying structure that's expected inside of an R package. Now, if we go over to the other RStudio window that was opened, you'll see we're inside of the hot chicken directory. So hot chicken is again our package name. And if we go down, we'll see that it was filled in with a bunch of different files. Now, we should first make sure that our code is licensed. So here we're gonna use, use this colon colon, use underscore GPL three license and press enter. And what you'll see is use this has created the license.md file. And if we go ahead and we click it, you'll see that we have a copy of the GNU general public license included with our package. Licensing is useful because when you start working on code, um, you want to make sure that you're retaining your copyright and not giving it to somebody else. If we go ahead and we close that. We're back to the our console. The next part that we want to do is we actually want to use this and then use underscore package underscore doc, press enter. You'll notice that this sort of creates in the R directory um, a holder for R package material, um, such as imports, output statements, and it allows us to generate an internal RD help file or a help documentation file for the entire package. Now going back over, we also want to use this uh, colon colon use underscore uh, roxygen MD. Roxygen allows us to write um, inline documentation with our, our functions and it also sort of takes care of the package namespace, which focuses on which functions should be made available to users, so which functions should we export, and which functions should we keep um, private, so only those um, package developers can have access to it. In addition, it also allows us to set which functions we want to use from other packages through an import statement. So with that being said, we're now going to actually move over to using use this colon colon use underscore r and inside of this we're going to uh, provide a name uh, for uh, an r file that will contain our very own function so here let's say code dash missing and press enter you'll notice that the second we do that we now have a new file in the R directory called code-missing. Inside of this file, we want to actually write out our R function, and we want to um, ensure that we have inline documentation. Now, I've already done this for a specific function, so I'm going to pause the video briefly and then restart it, and you'll magically see text uh, containing the function alongside of a description. And we're back with a function definition. So code missing equals function 
parentheses x, comma, value equals negative 1, curly brackets, and then um, a series of statements to perform the action, which in this case is replacing existing values that denoted missingness from a researcher with the value r uses for missingness, which is na. You'll notice that right above the function, we actually have documentation. This documentation is written using Roxygen 2. Here, we start by providing a title, a description, and then we provide an overview of each parameter. So here, at param, space x, and then a description of what should come in um, for the value of x. Similarly, we have it for value as well. But what's probably more important is this tag on line 16 called at export. This export tag says that we want to make our function available to everyone uh, who has a copy of the package. It's very important that any function that you want uh, your users to be able to use is exported um, with this specific Roxygen2 tag. After you handle your export, it's also very useful to provide an example of how the function should be used using the at examples tag. So here you'll see that we created a data vector and then we go on to showing how it would actually change when we run, in this case, the function we wrote, which is code underscore missing. It's also very good practice to give one example per um, parameter that you're using. So here, because we have two, x and value, where our value is regarding what observation entry we're going to change, um, that we just take that into consideration and show that as an example. 